for Jim's parents. My name is Manuel and uh, I'm one of Jim's friends based in Canada. We met him and I in 2015 when he was up here sailing on the Goose. Um, since then we've remained in touch and uh, Jim helped me sail my Kelly Peterson 46 from Fiji to New Zealand last October. In fact we we're supposed to be in New Zealand right now working on our boat in Whangarei. Uh, fortunately COVID wrecked those plans but uh, it's a question of time. Now, I understand that uh, you guys uh, are going to be sailing um, Seamogs back to New Zealand, which is a super exciting proposition, and um, I wish you <laughs> fair seas and uh, following winds for that trip. So Jimmy was saying that uh, while we were in Fiji, I, I showed Jimmy that, that I use this app called Obital Map on my Android tablet. It also works on an on a, um, Apple tablet, by the way. Um, and because I had a friend who I have a friend who has been cruising the South Pacific for a few years and he shared with me that more and more cruisers are using Obital map as a way to essentially be cruising, but instead of be cruising on top of maps, we're cruising on top of satellite imagery and really high definition satellite imagery. And it works really well. The only reason I use an Android as opposed to uh, an Apple product is I use OpenCTN as a, an open source, fantastic chart plotter. And um, it doesn't, the tablet version doesn't exist for the uh, iPad, only for Android. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't get my tablet to enable the feature, this recording tool, to feature when I click on things. So you can't really see where I'm pressing, but you can see the Ovital Map app right in the middle of the screen. Before I, I click on that, I'm going to click on the uh, Play Store, which is um, second row, second from the right, from the bottom. Uh, if you go to Play Store and I search, you'll see I have Ovital Map there because I just searched for it just a second ago, but I'm going to press on that Ovital Map search instead of typing it in, and you'll see there is no uh, Ovital Map. Ovital Map is not a legal, or I don't know if it's legal is correct, but it's certainly not an approved app on both the Android Store and the Apple Store. And the reason is, I think, is that they're uh, outside of the terms and conditions of the use of the satellite imagery API and so on. So you're going to have to go and download the app by going directly onto Ovital's website, and um, and then installing it that way. And then once it's installed, it's actually, so I'm gonna press now on the button, Ovital Map, the app just uh, above center there. Uh, and uh, sorry, I should have started way zoomed out, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna zoom, I'm gonna zoom out. So there you go, there's the world. Uh, and that's kind of more or less what Ovital Map starts with. It's extremely powerful tool, extremely complex. There's no user guides in English that I can find. So. I've just developed a very simple way of using it and from talking with other cruisers, that's, a, that's how they use it as well. But I know there's a variety of industries that use this tool, but in, in more complex fashions. I'm here right now, I'm in Vancouver, Canada, and if I, if I move my, my tablet, you'll see my little pointer uh, changing. So, uh, and of course it doesn't have a full globe, like I can't just scroll endlessly around the world. So if I just zoom into this part of the world here, you'll see I had a pin somehow at some point in Fiji. Uh, and here's New Zealand. Now I'm going to keep zooming in here, and you can see the North Island. There's these rectangles with a very thin green outline, and near Wellington, there's one with pink. All those are uh, indicate areas that I've pre-downloaded high-resolution satellite imagery, which means when I'm sailing down the coast of the Northlands, I'll be able to, without cellular reception or without Wi-Fi, uh, have a very, very high-resolution satellite imagery with my dot, my location overlaid on top. Uh, the pink one at Wellington is no different. It's just that the last time I played with this, I thought perhaps I liked a pink outline instead of a green one better, but to be determined. We'll see. So I'm just going to zoom in to, I don't know, right here, Christchurch. Uh, I'm just zooming in here, and I'm going to try to pick, uh, I don't know, this is my first attempt, but I, I uh, forget that pink line there. Here, I'm just going to pick uh, Hickory Bay here. I am currently on, sat on uh, Wi-Fi at home, so I'm able to to zoom in and every layer that I zoom in it's going more and more high resolution and you're essentially able to download pre-download to to this resolution which is absolutely incredible you can see the bottom country you can see balmies in the tropics you can see deeper areas and shallower areas and so on and how you do this all right it's pretty simple now I wish I could show you what I'm pressing on so I'm going to describe it you see the button shape, you see the shape line survey close at the top of the app. I'm just going to press on shape. All right. Oops. Sorry. Let me press close. There we go. Never mind. 
let's start that over. I had not forgot, I forgot to close out of my last thing I did here. So we're gonna actually pick a Le Bon's Bay here. It's looking nice, I like it, nice little beach there. So first of all, what you do, bottom of the screen, there's location, edit, favorite, I'm here and more. You press on the edit with the, with the pencil tool, press on edit. And now at the top, there's the shape line survey close. I'm just gonna click on shape, all right? Now, what I wanna do is draw a rectangle, but I can't just draw the four sides of a rectangle. It doesn't work that way. And there's a way probably to do a line and all this stuff, but I don't know how that works. So I just draw a rectangle and I do that by, by pres pressing with my finger, essentially drawing the two ends of the diagonal of the rectangle. So I'll press one, uh, if, if Le Bon's Bay is in the center, I'll, I'll, I'll press just to the north and to the west of Le Bon's Bay. You probably won't see because a small little dot will be created, but there's a little dot that got created. You might've seen that. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the other diagonal of the rectangle to the south, <coughs> excuse me, and east of Le Bon's Bay, just to often the ocean here, right there, boom. And it's automatically created a rectangle over the area. So that's, for example, if I knew I, went on, I wanted to approach Le Bon's Bay, at night or even in the day in the tropics and I want to make sure that I can essentially see the bottom of the water. Not so much here in New Zealand because of the color of the water, but in the tropics it's incredible. You can see features and rocks and balmies 30, 40 feet down in the water. Okay, so now that I've created my rectangle, I'm going to go back to the top there, shape, line, survey, close, and I'm just going to press close. So my shape is now in place. What I now need to do is go define the parameters of the shape and download the map in that shape. So all I do is I press on the, that rectangle I have, there's little white, one says A equals 1.783 miles and D equals 0 0.978 miles. Anyways, I'm gonna press on those little white rectangles. Okay, there it is. Perimeter is 5.521 miles, uh, 4.5 square kilometers of area size. I'm now gonna press again on that black area which says perimeter and area size. And this is what it does. So. I am going to name this Le Bon Bay. So I'm trying, I name every one of my rectangles or my areas so I can search them later, okay? And then uh, it says fourth row down, attribute, set shape attribute. Now, you may have noticed the shape is actually already good. It had my pink outline that I think I like now. Uh, I don't know why, because it used to be I had to do this every time. By default, you'll see it'll create a big, dense rectangle, blue, with very little transparency. So what I started doing is, I, you don't want that because it'd be hard to see what you're seeing because you're, you're in the middle of all this blue. So what I do, the line, let's just say I go back to my previous green that I like because I'm thinking maybe that's what I prefer. So I'll just pick a, this one here, okay. So that's my line, 50% opacity, line width, one pixel. Uh, I'm gonna make it two, but you can make it whatever you want. And then the fill color, uh, fill preview, last row here, uh, I pick white, which is the bottom right rectangle. There's a white uh, square there, there's a right. So I, I click on that and there's my white and I make the opacity of my white 10%. So it's almost see-through. And that's the third from the bottom, fill opacity, opacity 10%. So that's all there, I'm gonna go save. So now I've defined the color of the outline and the opacity of my 10% in the middle. Um, I am going to download map data. So again, you can see download map data is um, uh, left column, second row from the bottom. So I'm gonna click on download map data, okay? And you can choose the map type. I'm gonna just drop down this map type first row, Google Hybrid. There's Google Map, Google Satellite, Google Hybrid. I prefer Google Hybrid and it seems other cruisers do because you get also the road information and, and, and other type of traditional driving map information for land, but you also get the satellite. So I would say keep your Google Hybrid there. Uh, and then the map level, is where the more level you do, the more high resolution you get, and also the much bigger the file size becomes. So if you got an iPad or an Android tablet with lots of room, no problem. Uh, I'm, I'm using 17 as a uh, really, really high res uh, layer, in, uh, a resolution of, of, of uh, uh, satellite imagery, but you can try to go to 18 if you want, but 17 is really good, all right? and. That's it, so I'm gonna press download, top right corner, boom. Now, warning, it's a tool, da da da, you can read this, and it's asking me, do you have authorization to do this? I have been authorized, continue download, I'm gonna click on the left one. Now, you can either calculate size or download directly, 
just to show you, I took a very small area, right? Because I've done areas that are <laughs> like hundreds and hundreds of square kilometers in size, and it takes a while to download, like 30 minutes to an hour, and it might be three to five gigs of area. But in this case, I'll just do a quick calculate size. It shouldn't take long for it to do that, just to give you a sense of how much space am I using to download Le Bon's Bay at a resolution of 17. So I'm gonna press calculate size. Oh, that was super quick. I've never seen anything that fast. Uh, 3.5 megabytes of data, which is nothing. So I'm gonna go download. That's gonna happen very, very quickly. Usually you'll be downloading much larger areas than this. All right, so it seems to be done. And I'm just gonna click, I don't know if, oh, there you go, downloaded. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna finish, right? And uh, that's it, so I'm gonna go back Top left, I'm just gonna save this again, save. And there's Le Bon's Bay with my green outline and my 10% transparency white, just so I can tell that I have that area downloaded. Now, what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna just shut my Wi-Fi off to show you, and this doesn't have cellular, so I'm purely now, I'm not connected to the internet. And I'm gonna start zooming in. So 17, I pick 17. It'll sh tell you once you've reached the, the limit of, um, of your resolution, you'll get these little squares. So this is about the limit of my resolution, which is bloody incredible. If you think, I mean, you can see the individual trees. So you can keep downloading a little bit and eventually you'll find the limit of your resolution. It'll start saying this. Now I'm not sure why it's saying 17 offline, because we are at 17, uh, but that's how you know. So that's that's essentially it. And you see here, up here it says 13, 15 offline. So I guess earlier when I was browsing around just to show you the area, I probably zoomed into level 15 or 14 and it cached it temporarily, but anything beyond that I can't see. So that's the difference is here's the area I've downloaded and above is the area that's not downloaded. That is, so it doesn't know, it doesn't have the resolution. And, and this is essentially what you do. So you set yourself up at a Wi-Fi cafe somewhere or so on, and you pick the areas you want. So for us, I'm you know, obviously very, very excited to go cruising in New Zealand. Hopefully we can do it next year. Uh, but I've downloaded all these areas more or less down the coast. I got the entire Bay of Islands over here. Uh, and of course, we're in Whangarei, the boat. I got this whole area. I took the, uh, the bay here of Auckland, um, the Great Barrier Island, and it's pretty incredible. If I if I go like this here, so same thing. You can see that here's 13, so there's almost no resolution, but here's what I've already downloaded, probably to 17. That seems to be my MO. I mean, look at this. You can see this boat right there. You can almost, if I keep zooming in, I'll be able to see the people on the dock on the boat. Isn't that incredible? So that's, that's the beauty of this tool. And then, of course, when you're on your boat and moving around, you'll see your dot. So you can know exactly where you are on this map. If there's, there are shoals like here that you can avoid, like this sands pit here and so on, uh, which of course are well mapped in New Zealand, uh, but some other parts of the South Pacific not as well. And that's it. Uh, so I would recommend you get an iPad or a tablet that has quite a, as much storage as you can, and then just pre-download. I did, if I zoom out here, I did the same with Fiji. And that's what we were doing. There's Fiji. And that's what we were doing. We were on the outer reef and we went to this uh, Cloud Nine surf spot. And of course, I'm downloaded here. And it's somewhere over here. Yeah, that's it. Cloud Nine Fiji here. And because we were downloaded on this, we came in and it's obviously super hard. There's definitely reefs and so on. We came in and we were able to stay in this middle, darker channel that you see where there's more water all the way to Cloud Nine using this tool making sure we weren't straying one side or the other. So it's really, really, really neat. So I think you'll love it. Hopefully this provides a good overview of how to use Ovital Map. It's not more complex than that. It's just hard to know how to even get to this point because there's no information. So I look forward to meeting you guys in person as soon as we can. I'm sure it'll happen over the next few years. And enjoy your trip. Bye.